Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. I, uh, GreenAcresPC.com, that's my website. I really appreciate everybody tuning in, taking a look at these videos that I've got up on YouTube. I know I get a lot of people that have subscribed to me, and uh, I just want to say I appreciate all the comments and all the likes and shares and all that great stuff. I didn't realize that I was helping as many people as I am, but I really do appreciate all you, all you guys out there. And uh, tonight I'd like to talk about cockroaches. Uh, the differences between several different types of roaches, different things people get in their homes, um, the, what most people are plagued with. Uh, German cockroaches are the most common. That's what everybody worries about whenever they get cockroaches in the home. They always worry that, oh no, I'm going to have these, you know, those roaches that invade restaurants and apartments. And that's what German cockroaches are. Uh, the reason people worry about them so much is because they do develop immunities to pesticides, makes them really difficult to get rid of. Uh, <laughs> it only takes, you know, approximately 90 days to uh, build an immune immune cockroach. Um, so, you know, you want to be really careful what you use. I always recommend people to uh, call an exterminator for cockroaches. Uh, there are people that I know of that, you know, do-it-yourselfers that, that, you know, try to get rid of them themselves. Uh, you know, unless you really know what you're doing, it's really difficult to do, you know, to do it yourself when it comes to cockroaches and save money. You know, typically most people want to do it yourself because they save money. Um, you know, most people I know that have actually tried to kill cockroaches have ended up spending hundreds of dollars more than it would have cost just to hire an exterminator. Um, but first and foremost, it, uh, you know, I, I want to, uh, I want to advise you how not to get cockroaches in your house, how to avoid getting them in the first place. Uh, now, oriental cockroaches, they come in because of the weather change. Typically, when it gets cool at night, uh, they start coming into the home. Uh, when it warms up during the day in the springtime, and then it gets cool at night, it, you know, they, they try to get in out of the cold. So that's that's typical thing. They, they get in, you can do a, a, you know, typically a perimeter treatment around the outside. A lot of times will help a lot with those. Uh, you know, there are some exterminators I know of that do drain treatments for, you know, the water bugs that come up at the drain, uh, in the city. So that helps. Um, German cockroaches typically come from someone else's home. If you know someone who has, uh, problems with cockroaches, uh, I would try not to go to their house. You know, I mean, I know that you try to be as, as friendly as you can, but, you know, if you want to meet up somewhere, go out to eat, you know, go to a restaurant, go to, you know, go somewhere, you know, is, 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 you know, roach free, uh, you know, have play dates and stuff out. Don't, don't do it at their house. You know, don't invite them into your house, you know, because cockroaches will, will, uh, travel on your clothing. I'll tell you one thing that happened to me one time. I was young. I was with my dad, uh, back when I was still learning how to be an exterminator and we went into a home. It was heavily infested with cockroaches. And, uh, actually after we were done with the job, I picked 16 of them off of me in their driveway and, uh, we drove home and it was probably about a 45 minute drive back home. And, uh, I s sat up, uh, went in and, and sat down, used the bathroom and one crawled off of my shoe in the, uh, in the bathroom. Uh, and it had been 45 minutes, just hitched a ride until, you know, we got somewhere where it felt safe enough to crawl off of me. So, you know, just keep that in mind that, that it's really easy to infest your home with roaches if you go and you visit people with roaches or if they come to your house. You know, it's not that they're doing it on purpose. It's just, you know, you have no nerve endings in your pants, in your shirt, in your clothing. You can't feel roaches when they crawl on you. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But anyway, uh, you know, don't frequent places with roaches. You know, if you know a restaurant has cockroaches, don't buy their food. If you know that a certain convenience store has cockroaches don't you know don't patronize these buildings these these uh these businesses you don't want to bring roaches home number one way a lot of people bring roaches into their house is used appliances you know you go out to a yard sale and you buy a microwave oven or a toaster oven uh you buy a I, i'll tell you one one time i had a, a customer that bought a used dishwasher she uh saved a lot of money on a dishwasher you know, they can be pretty expensive. And I think she ended up spending $25 on this used dishwasher. She brought it home and she installed it. It was great. And then it was full of cockroaches and she had to call me. And I had to come out to her house and she ended up spending more. It would have cost her a lot less if she just bought a brand new dishwasher at Lowe's or Home Depot or Sears or somewhere like that. You know, you 
you spend a lot less money if you're not figuring on your exterminator bill as well. So keep that in mind. And uh, another thing about cockroaches I wanted to mention is is uh, the reason you, you really want to get them under control and get them under control quick is because they carry diseases. They they uh, they don't they don't necessarily carry diseases. What happens is German cockroaches crawl all over other surfaces. Oriental cockroaches crawl in raw sewage, and so if they come up and they crawl on your food or they crawl in your pantry, they're tracking that raw sewage down inside your you know inside your cereal boxes and uh, oatmeal boxes and you know pasta and all the different things that are open typically in your cabinet. Uh, they'll go down in those, you know, looking for something to eat. They'll go down in your drains. They'll crawl over your clean dishes, you know, and then you'll go and you'll eat the, off of those dishes and, you know, you don't know where that roach has crawled. You don't know where it's been. And so, uh, I know that oriental cockroaches love to crawl in sewers and typically in the city, they come up sewer drains, you know, that that's where they like to get in. They come up your bath drains. They come up your, your toilet, you know, they come up around the wax seal around your toilet. Uh, you know, they're... They're filthy. They like filthy, filthy stuff. Uh, German roaches are a little cleaner They tip because typically they are social and they live only indoors and they live in kitchens and bathrooms, so they don't typically crawl around the same places that oriental cockroaches crawl, but they cause staph infection. They cause uh, asthma because typically they breed so out of control that their droppings uh, can, can agitate or cause asthma in children that are susceptible and adults. Um, I know someone personally who has emphysema, and the roaches really caused her a lot of problems. Ended up having to spray her house. And, uh, you know, once we got rid of her cockroaches, she could, <laughs> pun intended, she could breathe, you know, easier. Uh, that's absolutely the truth. They they do cause a lot of, uh, you know, asthmatic problems. And one thing is, too, uh, there's, there's, there's four different co types of cockroaches we get here in Virginia. There's an oriental roach. There's a German roach. There's a Pennsylvania wood roach. An American cockroach. And brown banded roaches as well, but they typically will, you, you'll sometimes find them along with German cockroaches. So, uh, but brown banded roaches like to live in furniture. They like to live in uh, chest of drawers. And the German roaches like to live in kitchens and bathrooms. So, you know, you can have a mix of those in one dwelling. It's, it's possible. We don't get a lot of brown banded roach jobs here in Virginia, but it does happen. I have been on them, and it does happen every now and then. German roaches are the most common. So, anyway... Uh, I hope this has been informative to you. Like I said, like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, take a look at me on uh, Facebook. We got a Facebook page. Like me there. And uh, Green Acres Pest Control, that's the name of our business. It's greenacrespc.com. If you have any questions at all, don't, you know, don't hesitate to hit me up. I'm, I'm always uh, always open to you know, answer anyone's questions and, and uh, give any advice that I can. I get phone calls all the time from all across the country. And uh, and so, yeah, just, just, you know, hit me up. Let me know. If you're not local to Virginia, I don't mind, you know, answering any questions you have. If you have any cockroach questions, I'm, I've am i been doing this for almost 30 years, and I, uh, I think I could answer just about anything you need to know. Might even be able to give you some pointers on how to do it yourself and be successful. So uh, give me a call. I uh, actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to start a show, a weekly show. I'm thinking about doing it uh, Friday nights, maybe Saturday nights, uh, Sundays, you know, sometime like that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it. It's going to be live. You'll be able to log in and, and ask me questions, anything you want, you know, just, just talk to me. And uh, if you want to just chit chat, we can do that too. Um, you know, and uh, if, if I've had a lot of people that have, that have wanted me to do something like this, I've talked to people about it. And it seems like it, it would go over pretty well if, uh, you know, we'll try to figure out a time that's best for everybody that's interested. I mean, I've got several subscribers now. I've got, you know, over 50 subscribers if, you know, whatever works best for y'all. Like I said, I'm East Coast time, Virginia. So, uh, you know, anything that would work for y'all would work for me. And I'll, I'll try to work it in to where I can come on here and answer some of y'all's questions. I get calls from Washington State, California. Uh, Arizona, Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, uh, you know, Texas. I've got a call from Texas over the weekend. So I get calls all the time from all over the country. So, you know, this internet really does help a whole lot keeping us in touch with one another and allowing me to help you guys. So like I said, like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on uh, 
here so you can and, and don't forget to click that thing up at the top so you can get notifications so you know when I'm live because I'm going to start live shows. I'm going to be in Disney World next week. I might even do a live show down there. So y'all have a great day. I really appreciate everybody and uh, have a good evening.